and start recording. Oh, uh, welcome back to uh, uh, Mercifer. Freaking nobody. Verdi Beastie. Uh, shut up, Kaden. Oh, really, Ashley? I thought I was just gonna let him blow up. Thanks for your fucking input. Like, I fucking asked for it. You fucking piece of fucking whore. Oh, I'm fatigue weighed. Uh, oh, I should get out the sniper rifle. Okay. I love the sniper rifle. It's like your go-to gun. I would be just fine with just doing the infiltrator. In fact, I don't even... I'd, I'll just use a sniper rifle the entire time. Don't even use any of the tech. Besides the... Uh, I, th I think this was the game where actually like the stealth... Uh, Oh, that, that's like a shock trooper or some shit. Some bullshit. Yeah, shock trooper. Boom. So fucking minuscule. Holy fuck. Fucking, I'm disarming this motherfucker. Cover me, bitch. Or just fucking stand there. Huh? There and you move there. Fuck. Uh, okay. There's fucking no use for that shit. God fucking damn it, you fucking whore. God. Um. Is there one over there? Can't remember. Well, if there is, it's gonna fucking blow up. Why the fuck do they. Do we give a shit about the bombs? Medium armor and uh, sniper rifle. So armor, just like fuck it. Okay, phaser rounds. I think that's good versus shields, but uh, less versus yeah, less damage overall. But shield bypass, like transphasic torpedoes in Star Trek Online. If you give a fucking shit about that fucking shit, we got the Lancer. Uh, oh, nobody cares. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can transfer the upgrades. So now we have the Avenger, and now it is red. Uh, changes the things change look as you get the better stuff. Wow, go go for extreme like inaccuracy, and then we get the same shield but more tech biotic points. So obviously this is more meant for people of not the combat orientation. Well, who the fuck asked you? Oh, hi. I don't know if I hit him or not. Oh, hey! This game does shit, you know. It's pretty fun. How do I fucking melee? Like, oh, that explains it. Okay, we got a storage locker over here. We're gonna fucking play Leapfrogger, fucking Sphere Edition. Who gives a fuck? Hammerhead rounds, improved sighting. Sounds, um,. Too bad, actually. You know, we're gonna upgrade the sniper rifles and fucking 
Mac accuracy, Mac accuracy. No, I just definitely wanted that. And mods, hammerhead rounds, weapons force, which will give some knockback on that shit. Uh, shit. What was it? The Reaper. There we go. Uh, you can break things down into Omni Gel. Which Omni Gel, I think. I really think that's the. Uh, I can toggle helmets, by the way. Which is cool, because I fucking hate. For some reason, I hate helmets. I don't know. They're very important. But, uh, you know, I just don't give a shit. Let's play. Okay. Well, it's called Omni Gel, so I'd imagine it's used for a lot of things. Got a hurricane shotgun and another assault rifle, piece of fucking shit. Um, probably gonna get a red shotgun now. Yeah, this game should be called. Uh... Ooh, oh no, it's the same. Yeah, this game should be called. It's like. Fuck, I don't know. It's like the Barbie of fucking... But, like, with guys. You know. What color of gun should this guy have? Alright, lots of shit's gonna happen here. So I could just... If I wanted to, I could actually just... Go to the bathroom, come back, and then... It wouldn't be done. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. If I alt tab... No sound's gonna come out of it. Roger, Normandy. Standing That's fantastic. Man, what the fuck? Fucking weird rendering with the fucking helmet when she's like, what? Surprise, butt sucks. Fucking Chuck? Fucking Chuck. Shepard! No, don't touch it! It's too dangerous! And that is how Hitler uh, got the idea of World War Two. <laughs> the idea of fucking having Porsche build his fuck design his fucking big tanks. Fucking ugly as fuck. So there's this we chick that you kill later on. on Eden Prime. The I think we actually kill her later. It was under the command of uh, that's uh, Sirius. Sirius Black. One of the humans may have used it. That chick right there is actually the sister of Dr. Girlfriend from Venture Brothers. By the way, uh, Sirius Black there is actually Borg, if you don't know. Um. <sighs> Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Chakwas, who the fuck made that name? <laughs> that's, that's funny. That person deserves a medal of hilarity. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Who gives a shit? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the That's beacon, it? I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. God, your you eyelashes are so fucking weird. It looks like they didn't position it right on the fucking eyelid. Or they didn't color the eyelid, the inside of the eyelid part right. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. But you're a doctor, not an engineer. How the fuck would you know? The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. 
physically you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science typically associated. What is that with called? Rapid, rapid eye movement? Holy shit! I'm getting scientific up in this bitch. I saw. Saw. I'm not sure what I saw. Death. Destruction. Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may. Oh. Which is the embodiment of death and destruction. Well, all the readings look normal. Were they on a horse? Going to be fine. Perhaps. Glad to hear Maybe two others. Shepard, I need to speak with you. Destruction might have been more. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. <laughs> Captain like Kilgore? No, no, no. I fucking. Are you sure you're okay? Jenkins. Yeah, he was the guy who was like, oh, let's get some fucking action up in this bitch. I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council come, can come see on. that. See, look at that fucking cheek. I'll stand behind like, you I, and your I fucking tried to fix that shit. But, God fucking damn it. Other Turian. Saren's a spectre, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. Or did he? Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how. Who's allied with the Reapers, and then something happens something in Mass Effect 3, which I don't know because I never played you Mass Effect 3. That beacon self -destructed? Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Um. No. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? Yes. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command. He won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. God, it's that not fucking good. cheekbone is he's fucking, like, prominent as fuck. Do, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. You could say the word cheekbone and you'd just be like, Enrique's shepherd. We proved <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> Enrique's shepherd. I'll contact the ambassador. <laughs> And see if he can get us an audience with the company. It's very blunt. You'll want to see us as soon as we reach Very, the like, we bland. Close. But Sarah's somewhat awesome. To Joker to bring us into dock. I will definitely tell Chris Griffin that. Oh my fucking god. Replenish Metagel. Metagel plus one. Me oh, Metal Gel is the thing that you... Uh, hey. You... you you just stand in there, just, and that that guy's just standing there too. And chalk was okay. I think if you talk to him, you get like reputation and shit. Uh, after this video, I'm actually going to check into um. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Uh, what it takes to get everybody to live. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Will. You belong on the Normandy. We'll have Thanks, sex later. Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? He kind of like just dismisses I've that. I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. 
I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. You look weird, you're... You'll fit right in. This guy, fucking... Piece of fucking... To see you're okay. Oh, he's, he's okay. I think this is my office. Um... Apparently it's his. Sorry, bro. Wait, so I'm Commander Shepard. Am I like... I serve under... Him. I serve under the captain. Okay. I think I'm getting it now. I think I'm getting it. So I'm like a second in... Com yeah, I never really thought about this shit in the... Uh, in Mass Effect 2. This was not in Mass Effect 1, I don't think. I don't remember. Uh, that goes down to like the... Like the cargo bay. Which also happens to be the fucking armory. A striker 2, Avenger 2. Fucking... I'll, I'll take all. Excuse me, bitch. This is the cryopods. This also happens to be uh, the same place where uh, Pitch Black actually uh, starts off at. Same ship, actually. Same ship. It, it is not. I, if you guys thought that that's how Pitch Black and correlation between two universes. No. Just, just no. The only thing that I hate about this, um, which I've al I've always been a fan of actual elevators and shit, you know, working in games and shit, especially if it's not a tele elevator, you know, when you just go into an elevator, it closes off and then teleports you. Not really immersive, and usually you can tell, but that that one I think is is it does that. Maybe, or just saving. Uh, but, I always like elevators that not do that. So this is the armory officer. Oh, requisition officer. Alliance? Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. I have to pay for it? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Yeah, so that's interesting. Uh, that's something done. that... Uh, that's a cool thing. So you have a uh, specific, like... Um, you have companies in the game, a lot like Borderlands, actually, where uh, certain companies make certain uh, thing of weapons. Um, I think there might actually be a specific like company that makes a straight up line of assault rifle. I think I don't know. I'm probably an idiot. I am an idiot. Thanks for noticing. Uh, but um, this guy can't buy them unless he has the license to buy them from that specific company I think um, and as you level he actually gets like um, like higher tiered stuff like here's Avenger 3 so later on he'll probably have Avenger 9 9 9 9 9, nine. and the company I think is Hana Ketter I, th I guess that's the the license he starts out with um Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we can't really buy anything here. We can sell stuff. So I can just sell a whole bunch of shit like like this. Um, phasic rounds I'll probably never use. I've heard it. Uh, Avenger. Is that the... That's an assault rifle, yeah. It says right there. Storm? Phoenix. I think I, I think I sold stuff that I didn't need to sell. In fact, I don't even know if some of this shit, if it allows you to sell stuff that you already have, like equipped. Well, I don't need this Phoenix shit. Okay. Looking for supplies? 
Uh, yes. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. You bet, Commander. You piece of fucking shit. Um, so Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, so buy. We still can't really buy anything, can we? Well, fuck. Uh, I'll be back when I get situated and everything and, and figure out everything. Uh, I'll probably talk to some of the crew member and I'll try and leave that shit out. So instead of doing everything, I'm going to show you around the fucking ship. So this is the cargo bay. Kind of the, kind of the cargo bay slash armory. Uh, slash uh, vehicle depot slash uh, barracks armory slash uh, workshop um, slash who gives a fuck uh, and uh, in here we have uh, main engineering with uh, our main flux capacitor uh, this one this flux capacitor uh, has a significant more uh, power output uh, of course because it's size but it also has a bigger size to power output because it is spinning um, more so because it's going clockwise but uh, if of course you were uh, on the other side it would be spinning counterclockwise but it's important that here it is uh, spinning clockwise codex uh, when we go through the right door obviously and up this elevator uh, brings us to our the next part of our tour which is the elevator it has no elevator music but it is pretty fucking snazzy if I do say so myself uh, here we have corridor number three I would call it but uh, here we have a loading screen and this is the mess hall this is where people eat uh, that is a monitor and these are I believe some sort of piston or some shit I fu fuck if I know I'm, I'm a fucking commander not a fucking engineer uh, here's the the waiting room it's the lounge waiting room piece of fucking shit wait hold on whoa oh no that was Mass Effect 2 wasn't it uh, where that was the chef's place actually but uh here we have the cryopods uh obviously the stage for alien the next generation uh this is cotton he's a bitch uh here is my future abode uh this is uh captain kilgore i like him Heading up corridor number three, going up stair number one. Different than stair number one, don't get them confused. Holy shit, you do not want that shit to happen. Uh, we have a door control. And... I don't like that guy. Here we have Navigator Presley. Sometimes he's right here, but sometimes he's right here. Uh, sometimes he's in other places too. Here we have nav manual 1.4.1. That's 1.4 as far as major dot minor dot bug patch. That means they they they, they had bugs. Here's the galaxy map. Uh, well, I'm a commander. Yeah, that's a galaxy map. We'll be using that to uh, traverse the Milky Way. Uh, in Mass Effect 2, you actually traverse the Snickers instead of the Milky Way. Uh, this is kind of the ops room, kind of war type deal. These guys are more bitches. Here we have the setting for Star Wars. This is where the Jedi Masters uh, congregate and reject Anakin in his fucking face. Cause he's too fucking old even though he's like eight fucking asshole fucking should have been younger bitch should have been two uh here is where we 
uh, underpay our interns and make them type on uh, holographic keyboards. <laughs> yeah. Fucking idiots. Uh, here's the airlock. This is where we put the interns uh, when when they either you know are insubordinate or they change their keyboard color. Here's a uh, Chris Griffin, A.K.A. half the fucking voices on Robot Chicken. He's he's kind of cool. Uh, this is the bridge of the France. Uh, invaded in 1944. Um, we like to party hard in the war room. <laughs> that is actually the first fucking bug I think I've ever fucking seen in this game. Uh, but yeah. Uh, as far as that shit, uh, joking aside, um, a couple things. I'm going to be recording this in 30 FPS. Why? Because 60 FPS requires a whole lot of fucking CPU power. And if I had a better system, I would fucking do it. But I don't. So there's that. Um, yes, Commander. Is there something you need? The, I should go. Goodbye, Commander. That's funny. Um, one reason why uh, this is the med bay. That's where Dr. McCoy puts his bony finger in your butt for a prostate exam. And here's the science lab. Cool. Um, the reason uh, I don't like to record in 30 FPS is uh, I notice the difference between 60 and 30 FPS. Um, some people just don't, I guess. Um, I need to talk to Chris Griffin. Um, Uh, sometimes games, when they have, like, blinking, uh, uh, between, like, um, like, you know, in the old SNES games, or, uh, around that time era, when you would get hit, you would, uh, kind of blink, you would, uh, when you get hit, sometimes if it's, if it matches the same frequency as far as, you know, 30 FPS, and it blinks 30 times per sec. Per, right? Yeah, like 30, 30 times per second. Then, uh, then your character or whatever is blinking doesn't show up at all. Which is, which is what I don't like. And, but yeah, whatever. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Um, that is actually a giant robot uh, sex appendage. Very, very useful. Very useful for transporting a long, long distances. Anyway, that's the Citadel. They ac actually, what it is is they tried uh, to just straight up build the Death Star's like weapon, but uh, they decided to just stop. Size isn't everything. Oh! He's just saying that because he says it all the time. Superfluous space vehicle in Normandy. Roger. His name isn't Roger, okay? Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed. His name is Alliance Tower, obviously, you fucking piece of fucking shit. Uh, but yeah, the Citadel is... Oh, uh, this is the loading screen, by the way. Pretty cool, actually. Uh, Citadel is actually... This is an outrage! Oh, fuck. God, God fucking damn it. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems. That's the castle. 
Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just huh. the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? <laughs> they are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's and you have a Nihilus. Widow's Peak. That's the and worst thing that happened so far. Investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Yeah, that's kind of awkward. Because I'm probably going to have Widow's Peak. Oh, shit. Come with me, Captain. Come with me, Captain. Reminds me of uh, Shepard, Galaxy Quest. Come tower, with me, level. Captain. I'll make sure you mm, we will uh, explore the galaxy. Mm, fight the enemy. Politicians. Okay. Wow, that is some cartoon fucking lighting there. Oh, God. Cue that away. Get it? Cue that away. Did, like... Oh, no, that's just... Some weird shadow mapping. I I can't. I, I fucking can't. I can't even. I lost the ability to even. Um. Oh, we can decrypt this shit. Leapfrog. I'm getting better. I don't even read those. I get an experience though. Um. I forgot what I was fucking saying. Oh yeah, Citadel was, uh... It was built by the Protheans. Uh... Million a year ago. Uh, a long time ago. And, uh... Yeah, they, they kind of went and gone, and then all these species kind of ju just got... Oh my fucking god! Moving out! Um... And then humans kind of... Kind of came into the to the spacefaring late and uh they want power and shit so we're trying to get on the council but we're putting a uh, uh me in first Welcome. here we have cortana uh i think she actually and to fast travels my name is Avina, and i am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this what does that mean I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Fully interactive. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are oh, on shit. the far end of this level. You can see the goodbye. Goodbye. And thank you for using Avina. Shut Please the enjoy fuck your up. Visit to the um, I can't remember what else is here. Uh, that door opened auto magically. Oh my god! <laughs> Diplomatic archive. Diplomatic. Easy 20 experience. This motherfucker. You have to find like 20 of those pieces of shit later on. Something. God, if I had half that voice, I would have so many more subscribers. I just talk, and people would just orgasm. Um, Executor Palin. Oh, good to know. Since uh, Palin's running for president, isn't she? I don't fucking know. I don't keep up with this shit. You, you are keeping that man's fucking wife dead wife thing I'll come back for you later this place seems strange 
Um, I guess next episode we'll go into, oh, you know, don't give a shit about you. Well, let's talk to him. Let's talk to him. And then, and then I'll end the episode. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Who the fuck? Why the fuck does that? I came on my own. I need information. For what? I just you came here to talk to him. So curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? <laughs> sure. Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. <laughs> I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Uh, yeah, this episode's probably gone on way too long. Um, probably like 45 minutes. Hooray! I like, I like long episodes. I don't know about anybody else, but the longer the episode, you know, kind of a happier I am. 40 minutes is kind of my sweet spot. But, uh, yeah... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have to discover that shit, and then this will take you between, like, places. Uh, Sit the tower, which is where I am. Or, no, it's where, where I'm where I'm trying to go. But, yeah, next... Uh... Uh... Good... Uh... Goodbye.